All right, this is a 2004 Chevy Cerrado 2500. Looks pretty normal, except it's got over 1.3 million miles on it. Oh, got details for you in this video. My new friend, Brian Durr, this is his truck. He's, and we're gonna talk about this truck in the video. It's pretty interesting, it does a little maintenance. He's got some modifications to it. But he's got a little uh, beauty language to it as he's used over the years, him <laughs> and his family, and it's a lifestyle truck. So Brian, thank you for doing this with me today. Absolutely, glad to. All right, so let's start, before we get to the truck, we'll walk around, we'll talk about the maintenance, all the stuff you've done, but let's start. Rolling back a little bit, slowing my voice down. I know you guys comment about that stuff, <laughs> but tell me the story here. How did, how did you get this truck and what, what do we got? So I bought it used with right at 200,000 miles on it. Um, it was used, a uh, guy I bought it from, used it for long haul towing. Um, so the first 200,000 miles were highway miles, but hard highway miles where he was towing heavy equipment. Um, since then, it's been family vehicle. That's why we got the crew cab. Um, it's done everything from got a family ranch that's been in, uh, in the family since 1800s, six generations. So it's workhorse for that. Um, traveled. It's been everywhere from uh, Padre Island National Seashore, um, 30 miles from the closest road down the sand to over 16,000 feet, um, some in the mountains in Colorado, doing trails that um, I learned the hard way when it says Jeep trail, that doesn't mean four by four. It means small vehicles. <laughs> Maybe you yeah, won't yeah. hear that story he's, later. He's, but, uh, he's, a little, he's a little big for that kind of trail. <laughs> you find a plot of new trail going through those trails. So you've gone all the way down from, so we're in Texas, by the way. So we're in Hill Country, Texas. So you've gone down south to Padre Island. Yes. You've gone up to Colorado and you've gone all around the country, but this is a 6.0 liter gasser. Yes. This is crazy. So there's a variety of uh, million mile videos on this channel, but typically they're heavy duty, in this case is, but heavy duty diesel. This first time I ever met somebody who has heavy duty gas. So I'm sure you get 30 miles a gallon, right? <laughs> Yeah, so let's talk about the rest of the truck. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I wish. Yeah. So we have big red here. We have a little bit of, like I said, we were talking about paint, uh, uh, washing it, but we're, well, no, we got the beauty lines and beauty character on this thing. So we have, you have the, it actually looks in pretty good shape for something that's got this many miles on it. You have your bigger off-road tires, right? And we'll yeah. kind of come around, I guess we'll walk this way. So uh, this looks like aftermarket. This is something you changed out? Yes, uh, put uh, one piece headlights on it. Okay. Um, so real fancy grill work, um, yeah. stock grill. I just took saws off to this part where it extended out. So I put the one piece headlights on. I'm impressed, usually my saws off skills, I'd have a jagged line there. <laughs> So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm real fancy. I just use uh, some painters tape to make oh, a straight line, go. and then that's 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 the skill I'm working yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. I've had a few problems with my saws all over the years. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then we have is this stock bumper? Yes, stock, stock bumper. bumper. Um, yeah, totes. It, it's got a little bit of a angle to it from um, off-road stories. Oh but, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, so it's that Jeep trail. You're making that new Jeep trail. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, and this is master at stacking rocks on on those kind of trails. But, and, uh, and this original engine, right? Yes. Original engine, original transmission. All original. All original. Everything's okay. original. Six point liter gasser. Uh, what, what was the transmission back then? Six P. Four L E D E. All right, so let's, let's check around here. So this is the good part about Texas, right? Not a lot of rust going on. We do have a little rust on the frame, as you'd expect from all those mountain driving and things you've done, but not bad. It actually looks pretty good. And. Uh, those those aren't the uh, those aren't the Rancho socks. Those are different shocks. Now, yeah. And uh, one of the upgrades I did, um, so it's got H1 axle shafts on the front. Okay. Um, so the big thing with that, um, and I don't remember the exact degrees, but stock um, stock axle shafts, the CV joints. I believe it was, it was 23 or 27 degrees of flex this has around 40 degrees of flex so for all you people out there wanting to do a solid axle swap look at h1 axle shafts okay uh, yeah i'm, I'm in a lot of times guys will snap tie ride ends do different things to these trucks but upgrading the shafts so coming on the side we have a little beauty mark a little it's, it's character actually I, I was telling him before we started shooting here if you look down this body line here it's actually pretty straight and pretty square. I mean, there's not a lot of damage to it. So you'd expect um, with older trucks like this, a lot more 
damage beating mark, especially in the country you live, um, going through different trails and things. But this is looks pretty good. So we'll come around, come around the sides. Got to have our tow hitch always installed. And then I was gonna, oh, I was gonna check. Let me check this other side. I want to look at the suspension real fast on this recorder done. So, okay. So not, not the frame, you know, I mean, the frame looks like it's held up pretty good, decent. Of course, all the coatings off of that at this point in its life. Um, everything's fine in the fenders. Yeah, looks like, I mean, it still runs and drives really well, right? So Absolutely. don't have any problem with that. Um, yeah. yeah, the rear suspension, I unfortunately couldn't upgrade as much as I wanted to for all the off-roading that I like to do because like I mentioned, it's still a workhorse for the family ranch. So I, it still does a lot of heavy towing. Um, so the only modification to the rear suspension is a uh, four inch um, lift box. Okay, four inch lift box on the rear. And it, it's interesting because like I said, you're over, the, the, the odometer flipped over. So we have, it says 281, but we have some bigger off-road tires and there's mathematical math involved. We're calling it 1.3, just go with this in this one. But you still tow with this Absolutely. at this age. How's it tow? Tow's great. Now, I'm not going to talk about gas mileage. <laughs> <laughs> it, a gasser that gets good <laughs> gas mileage towing? No. <laughs> with, uh, with my small trailer, I get about eight miles a gallon. My 24-footer, when it's loaded down, looking at four to five miles a gallon. Sure, we're passing everything except the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> good thing we're in Texas. <laughs> Lots of gas stations. <laughs> So yeah, so I mean, it's it's interesting to see the older trucks still towing, still doing the job. I and mean, we had these modern trucks, lost towing technology with them, but this guy still does it. And so looking around the sides, again, little beauty mark, but not bad. I mean, really, like I said, I would expect a lot more damage and dents with how many miles you put on it um, driving this thing around. This was. Uh, oh yeah, tell uh, me, the, <laughs> tell me the good story. If it's not a good story, make it up. And tell me a better story. No, this this is actually. <laughs> part of a trail speaking of the jeep trails so i was actually on a really easy part of a, of a trail when i looked at it on the map it was super it looked super easy smart jeep trail i didn't think anything of it i'd had fun um in colorado all the all the jeep guys they'd see me pulling on the trail they'd tell me oh you're never gonna make it and i'd just laugh at them when i got back down and yeah. tell them told you so but this part about 15,000 feet up, the road got real narrow, and it was straight up on one side and straight down about 1,000 feet on the other side. And um, the, uh, yeah, this is where the, the small vehicle part comes in handy, is the road became too narrow for me to keep going on. I started to back up, realized real quick just the geometry of it all turning backwards my wheel was going to fall off the trail real quick so i had no choice but to go forward pray <laughs> <laughs> made it this is one side of the mountain and the other side the tires were hanging off about three inches so i only had about half the tire on on the road and it was literally at least a thousand feet straight down so oh but we live to tell the tale, so it's a great story. I told my wife to lean out the door and take a picture. <laughs> I won't mention the words that she said, but as soon as I said lean out the door when it was a thousand feet straight down, nah, she wasn't having any part of that, so. Uh, but, but it was fun, it's a great trip. And see, that's when they tell you kids give you gray hair, uh-uh. <laughs> that stuff gives you the gray hair. <laughs> that is, holy cow. I've been on some trails in Colorado like that, and that is a long way down. Let's let's go around this side. I want to hop. I want to not hop in, but because I don't think I can get in short. But um, <laughs> let, let's check out. I want to see what the the interior looks like a little bit. Um, it's not the beautiest truck. It's the prettiest truck out there. If you want a pretty truck? Go online. Look at all the fancy new pretty trucks. This is a used truck. A work truck. It works for the fire department. He helps out with those guys as well. He hauls with this. He's off roading with this. This is capital T truck, by the way. <laughs> so. Here's what we got going on here. I, I, I would say, I gotta say, you know, I, I, I lived in Michigan for years and I've seen trucks get really beat up in Michigan in different places. But so let, let I mean, this handle still work. You got a little rub line there, but not bad really. This is still nice, still working there. Do all the controls still work? They do. All the controls still work, electronics still work. 
imagine that electronics still work at this age so um looking at the seats i mean this is very typical i see this all the time crack seat um this is my fancy I'm, i pretended like i knew how to do upholstery oh you did look at that so, um Oh, look, fancy there. Did not rent me out did, to reseat your vehicle. No, you increased the resale value by doing that, right? <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> That's exactly why you did that. What's the power seat situation like? Does it work? It works, except I knocked this one switch off. But other than that, um, they still works. Yeah, one, once, well, once I get right, the key right. in. But what, I mean, once you're, you don't need to raise up and down. I mean, once you're in there. Yep. Um, and so, look, we got, you know, we got a project going on here. Yeah, I'm working on. It's it's always a work in progress. Sure. So I'm putting a new. Uh, headliner in, um, sound deadener up there. Try to make it a little bit quiet. It's pretty loud as it is. <laughs> Making it quiet's not going to happen, but right. every little bit helps. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I'm sure the kids love that stuff oh, too. Yeah. So steering wheel, uh, original steering wheel and everything. There's not a crack line in there. Well, well it's got a. Cover, I got a cover, a cover on, on it. it, right? But that still looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to my camera in over here. This is, yeah, and I mean, typical wear stuff. I mean, the seat shop, pff, done with that. Like I said, a little wash of wax, man. This thing, you wouldn't even believe it is that close to being over a million miles on this. And do all the four-wheel drives all work? Uh, absolutely. What yep. about this auto four-wheel drive? Does that still engage? It does. I don't like to use it personally. I just... Just put it in four high when you need yeah, it? Yeah, so if I lived up north, it might be something right. I used a lot. But around here... It kicks in. The only time it kicks in is seems to be when I've got my foot on the gas, yeah. and I don't want to snap a drive shaft or an axle or something. So, the auto auto four wheel drive works. I I just uh, yeah to play it safe. I I put it in two. It uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I you know that's a big topic these days with um, new trucks. A lot of people like the auto four wheel drive feature because it's especially my when I live, I live in Nebraska. I mean we get some hellacious winter storms, but it's interesting that that has been around that technology for that long, and it still works. And other, other automakers, they don't do it. Does it a chin rub? Hmm, chin rub. <laughs> um, so, I think Ford does it. Actually, I think, well, yeah, Ford does it. But uh, other, other Ram people don't do it, if I recall. I'm sure you're going to correct me in the comments. Um, I think, you know, like I said, overall, it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't, uh, I can't, I'm just still mystified by how much wear that I expect more wear and tear in this thing, and they're just not. Uh, the only electronics piece missing is I went to replace the radio. I wanted yeah. to put... Um, a nice high-tech radio so I could hook my phone up to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Learned the hard way. And I still haven't, like I said, it's a work in progress, so I need to look up the wiring diagrams. Maybe somebody out there in YouTube land can tell me what I need to do. Put in the but when, when I put a new, my fancy new radio in, the truck wouldn't start. So it's tied into the ECU <laughs> somehow. I took the new radio out, runs fine. So I, I know the the wiring the, the dinger when yeah. when you leave your keys in and it rings a bell things like that went through the radio i don't know somewhere there's some other wires that go through the ecu obviously so right now no radio but it runs great yeah i i take a running truck or a radio i think you made the wise choice <laughs> <laughs> Well, hop in. Let me see. Let me see how this works. Cause uh, yeah, you're a yeah. little taller than I am. So, and you hop. You grab the steering wheel every time. Yes. And the steering wheel's fine. Absolutely. Good. Okay. I should mention. Um, so I've got a four inch lift on the back, but it's a right. six inch on the front. Okay. Um, and it. I've had when I tell people that they say, "Oh, you've got the California lean going on." No. It's, so if you don't know Silverados, it's basically a leveling kit. Yeah. Doing it that way so it rides level. Yeah, yeah. A trucks come from factory with a rake on it. So the idea is when you put the weight on it, it makes it level. But you basically just leveled it out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that stuff works, folks. That's how it works. All right. Let's fire her up. As we uh it would help if I had, had keys. keys. Yes, keys. Keys would be good. Keys. Keys are good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 sounds mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so, and we said that this dash had gotten reset, so where's, where's Oh, one? don't show off, I need to change my engine oil. All right, well. There you go. Okay. And I'm out of washer fluid, apparently. But, oh, yeah. well. Well, hey, those gauges <laughs> still work. Yeah, gauges still work, and I've looked at updating the gauge cluster, but like I said, I still do a lot of heavy towing, and I hadn't found one with a 
temperature gauge for the um, transmission. transmission. Yep. So, so I need that. Big right. Time. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. You need, um, especially down here. I'm sure it's nice and cool in the summers and never gets that hot. Oh no! It's only. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we had 45 days over 100. Yeah. <laughs> last summer. So. It's April right now, and thank God for that. <laughs> I would not. Be, I'd be like, do you have a building to shoot this in with some AC or something? Yeah. So I can't see the odometer. I don't know if you can. Uh, I can turn the camera on. Can you see on the screen there? Uh, yes. Yep, okay. Sure right, can. So I can't. Yeah, I couldn't see it. But so uh, it has uh, over a million on there. And like I said, uh, the odometer says like one, 281,000, whatever, but we had the oversized tires put in about 10 years ago. And so we know we have a little more mileage than that with those tires. Okay, let's do one more thing and we'll wrap this up. Let's pop the hood. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. Oh yeah. Look at that. The hood release latch still works. Absolutely. I can't believe all this plastic is still held up. You know, usually this stuff cracks or breaks or brittle or, I'm impressed. Oh, look at that. And here's my fancy, I painted the, the cover red. That's, a, that's yeah. about as high tech as I get. <laughs> <laughs> and you've done all your own maintenance on it. I have. So you do the oil changes, you've done all your um, uh, oil filters, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Are you using factory oil? Are you using something special? A mixture uh, in your lab up, up to your house, you're doing this? I'm, I'm not that great. Uh, no, just use... Uh, Mobile One, um, I went to, you know, back when this came out, there was no such thing as synthetic, yeah. Ah, yes. So, synthetic didn't exist when this when this came out, but uh, run synthetic in it now so that it doesn't, so I don't burn things up. Now, are you using the high mileage synthetic? I, I am. Oh, <laughs> I would imagine you would. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you apply for that high mileage. <laughs> And I, again, you've had no transmission issues, no slippage of transmission. Uh, it's been a good transmission. A lot of people really like this. And the six liter V8, it's interesting. Again, as most times it's Duramax for these million mile trucks. Now, how many leaves add feel, horsepower? <laughs> it, it, it doesn't add horsepower, it's the torque. <laughs> so it helps with the towing and the aerodynamics. Ah, uh, yes, um, yes. I'm not a physicist, so I can't explain it all. No, but, it, uh, makes, it totally makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> no cooling issues, no transmission. This is incredible. Look at that, a wall-maintained truck. You maintain it, it lasts. Yep. That's shocking. I'm yeah. stunned. Replace, the only thing, the, the biggest thing I've had to do, I did have to replace the flywheel. That's, okay. Uh, but so a fuse box, it. everything's fine? Yep. No problem there. So you replace one flywheel and spend a bunch of time behind the wheel. That's it. That's good stuff. All right, there you go. All right, for more on this channel, check the videos up over here. I think they're on that side. Anyways, I'll put more Million Mob videos in the playlist over here. Check those things out. Make sure you follow along and put comments down below and figure the radio thing out. Go follow the comments. I'll monitor them. You haters, I'm see you. All right, so for more, check out the website as well, freedomtrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road.